Hello, Arcanine here, and I'm going to walk you through collecting all of the items and completing level 501 cold storage um, on Good Job for Nintendo Switch. Now, this is one of the larger levels that you're going to see, and it has a lot of space to cover if you're trying to find all these items. Um, I'm also going to walk you through moving all the packages because they can get a little bit difficult as well, and kind of some of the easiest ways to do that. I always like to go through and break these two walls here first and go in and grab this green package with the forklift. I think it's the best place to start, and it's really convenient with the forklift being located the way it is. Actually, places us pretty close to an item here too, so we'll grab that, but first we need to put this over. Try not to break this wall if you can, so you kinda wanna go kinda slow on the ice here because it's easy to slide around. You can carry it right over the edge, and then just drop it. And then we'll be going through there later to get all of the pink packages. Um, so it's very easy for us to drop that there and we can fix that without the forklift at a later time. Let's grab our first item. It's right here, this kind of, uh, hey look at that, a scarf. Makes sense considering we're in a pretty cold storage area. Then the second item is actually right up here as well. Now it can be kind of tricky if you accidentally bump into this guy, so try not to. You want to walk right over to here and then you can just grab that. You can slide right off past there and end up getting caught in all that, but now we got a purple mohawk and a red scarf. We've got a little bit of style here. I'm gonna grab this and pull this down. Typically a slide through, I will warn you, sometimes it can get stuck, so just feel free to grab it and mash A if it does, and you should be able to work it out. But it can be frustrating sometimes, so keep an eye out for that. Um, as far as the purple packages down here, we'll move, we'll move the orange one in a moment. Um, I like to start by corralling all of these upwards. Get a little bit of height first, and then you can let go. Grab this plug. I think it's easiest to corral with the plugs. And then you can move that over, plug that in. And then you've got the last plug here. Actually, since I'm here, I'll just kind of slide that one in. Um, and this one's a little bit close to the wall, so I'll slide that out of the way too. The rest of these should be pretty smooth. Usually it will plug that in because you got to get pretty close to it. It is what it is. Let's wrap around there. One of those went a little bit further off, so we'll collect that in a minute. But it makes it a lot easier to get all those over there instead of getting them individually. And then you can work on putting the last ones in. Now we're going to go back to getting this orange package. This is actually going to set up pretty good to get the last couple items. Um, I'm going to start going down here. You'll see item number three is actually that Santa cap there. Um, but don't be fooled, it's not actually gray. You'll see when I move this ice cube out of the way, it breaks and it throws a red Santa cap into the other room. So I'm gonna run over there and grab that so I don't worry losing it later. Here we go. Hate sacrificing the purple mohawk. You know what, actually, we'll continue to wear the purple mohawk because it'll make sense when I grab the next item. I'm gonna say the red hat looks good with the scarf though. Let's run over here so we can drop off the orange package. It actually goes right down here. And this works out really well for us to go down here and grab the next item. This is probably the hardest one to get and one of the two that you probably struggled to find. It's way off out of the way, sparkling right here, and you can't climb up there and grab it. So what I do is I'll grab the forklift. You pick it up in a weird way every time. I, I, I wish I could explain to you why. It just does. Set it down. It'll jostle the thing up enough that you'll be able to run over there and grab it. <laughs> Might have a little bit of difficulty getting over there. But there you go. Now you got your purple mohawk and your purple guitar. Now I'm going to grab this backup forklift I got here because I do need to bust through this wall to grab the yellow package. A little bit of charging will do. A little bit of a tidbit, if you try to charge and grab an item, um, if you're grabbing an item while you charge to try to break through a wall, you're going to have some difficulty. Typically you have to have natural speed in order to break through a wall while you're carrying an item with the forklift. Not sure why they put that in there, um, but they did. Drop that off. And now all that's left really is for us to move this green package where it goes. And then move the pink packages in. We have all four items now. We, we grabbed the Santa hat. We grabbed the scarf. 
And then you can see we've got the punk rocker outfit in the purple. There's a green outfit of that too, so keep an eye out for that. But all that's left is just getting these pink ones. I don't think it's terribly difficult to do. You can launch a bunch of them if you'd like to. I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't make too much of a mess when I do. So if they get caught up on the side, it can be a little annoying there. But kind of spit them all up there. Chances are they're all not they're not all gonna stay up there. You will have to go back up there and kind of reorganize a little bit. And that's just because they're all on ice. Um, a lot of times they'll go out the door sometimes. We got lucky that that uh, stack of blue packages got in the way. Um, and then sometimes they'll just be in the green. So pay close attention to that. But that is how you get all the items um, and, and uh, finish the level. Uh, 601 Cold Storage. On Good job for Nintendo Switch. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you saw, um, please give the video a like. Please feel free to give us a subscription on the YouTube side of things. Um, I also speed run this on Twitch, so I have linked my Twitch page if you want to go on there and give me a follow. Otherwise, thank you guys for tuning in. Keep an eye out for more videos to come.